a general principle to keep in mind when you're importing audio into a MIDI sequencer is that your music must look like it sounds and sound like it looks. It should look like it sounds in the sense that if it sounds like something's uh, happening at the beginning of a measure, it should look like it's happening at the beginning of a measure. And if something looks like it's falling on beat 3, it should also sound like it's falling on beat 3. So, for example, what we'll, what we'll do is we'll open up a new file. And the first step in synchronization is to determine the time signature of the audio file so that you can set that parameter in your MIDI sequencer. So first thing we'll do is listen to the file itself. So we'll listen for the beat. tempo and going back and listening to it again I can find out how often does a new measure occur. So I know it must be in 4-4 four, four time. I'll go into my MIDI sequencer and I will create a new song. that um, has the appropriate time signature and tempo. So we'll call it sync. Tempo is roughly 120, so we'll just leave it there. Time signature is 4-4. Four, four. Alright, from here, um, what I'll do is I will import the audio. And then I'll look at the waveform and line up the peaks where the beginnings of measures are with the measures that are denoted already within the MIDI sequencer. So at the beginning here. Downbeat seems like it's here at the beginning of the waveform. So I'll make it make a new section that starts right at that peak. And then line that up with measure one. And my next downbeat's here. So I need to adjust the tempo so that this peak lines up with the beginning of the measure. So notice this peak now lines up with measure 2. Go back and listen again. And measure 3 also lines up pretty well now. So we're starting to get a little bit off, so what I'll do is I'll try and line up again this peak here so that it matches at the beginning of measure 5. So it looks like that's as close as we're going to get. Know this. Good, so now the beginnings of the measures all line up at the beginnings of the measures. Wherever you see a uh, new measure, and the MIDI sequencer should also sound like a new measure in the audio. So let's listen again just to check. Three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, five, two. 